Have you ever heard about the James Webb telescope that disproves the standard interpretation of the redshift? Well, the only reason it would do so, the standard interpretation of the redshift is that you have um, the galaxies that are receding from the Earth and therefore they're stretching the wavelength of the light. And if you do that, then you're going to get a redshift. That's a standard interpretation. And we've remarked about that many times on this show. You know, I've showed that the, the guy who originally came up with that is Edwin Hubble. And that is because when he saw the redshift, he knew it put the Earth in the center of the universe. Speaking about another piece of evidence that put the Earth in the, in the center of the universe. He knew it. He writes about it in his book. He makes no bones about it. He said, yeah, the redshift puts the Earth in the center of the universe. And a lot of other people said the same thing. Right? But his quest in life was, well, let's see if we can get out of that. Why? Well, because we can't say the Catholic Church was right against Galileo. Come on now. We're the modern scientists of the world. We're supposed to know more than anybody did. And this little quirky church talking to this, you know, Italian guy who thinks he knows everything. Uh, we're way past that. Okay? So, you know, if we go and admit the Earth is the center of the universe, I have to go kiss the feet of the Pope. Who wants to do that? So he's trying best in his book to find a way to get out of that redshift, being having the Earth in the center. So, yeah, I know what we'll do. We'll put all these galaxies on the surface of a balloon, and, and we'll expand the balloon, and we'll have no center because a balloon has no center, and all the galaxies are going to see redshift from every other galaxy. That's how we explain it. So, see, we don't have to have this Earth in the center. And that's what the Big Bang is. So if you're going to have an expanding balloon universe, well, then, obviously, if it's expanding, there was a one time where it was real small. And something had to push it out. That's called the Big Bang. Okay? And here we are. So what the James Webb Telescope did, that we already knew, but the James Webb Telescope just confirmed it because it can see further with its uh, red spectrum teles uh, telescope. Um, is I'm, I'm sorry, infrared telescope that it is. It can see further. So um, it confirmed what we already knew. What was that? Well, look, if you're saying there's a Big Bang and the galaxies weren't formed until many billions of years after that Big Bang. Well, at the end of the rim of that explosion, there should be early galaxies that are not galaxies yet. I mean, like preformed galaxies. We should be able to see them in their primitive, immature shaping. We're not going to see fully formed galaxies at the rim of this Big Bang explosion. They're going to be primitive. They may just be star clusters. Okay? But you're claiming that everything sort of formed from this Big Bang as it went out and exploded. <coughs> well, if that's the case, then why are we seeing fully formed galaxies at the rim of the universe? should not be. We already knew that with the Hubble telescope. The deep field images, we already knew that. But the James Webb telescope said, yeah, you're not seeing uh, an illusion. It's real. And we can prove it to you. Okay? So the James Webb telescope just confirmed what we've known for 50 more or years. Um, that you've got fully mature galaxies at the rim of the universe that shouldn't be there. <coughs> that is, if the Big Bang theory is correct. If the creation story of Genesis 1 is correct, yeah, you should see fully formed galaxies all over the place, including the rim of the universe. Why? Because they were all formed on one day. 
That's why. All formed at the same time. So it's either a galaxy or not. You see? Makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, but see, that's where these guys stumble. It makes too much sense. Oh, well, then, you know, can't have that. <coughs> There's got to be some long, complicated reason why these galaxies are fully formed, you see. So they think of their theories and all this. And sooner or later, this whole stack of cards is going to collapse. And they're going to say, oh, my gosh, uh, why didn't we see this before? And they did see it before. They just weren't willing. Their pride just wouldn't let it be admitted. Until now, there's a consensus of everyone. Yeah, we went down the wrong track. But everybody has to say it at the same time, so to speak. Because they're all frustrated. They don't like to go to work anymore. Because they keep working on the same things and keep coming up with the same stupid theories that don't work. And so it reaches a point where everybody just says, what the heck are we doing? Let's just start over again. And that's how science progresses. Okay, If you really want to know how science works, get the book. Um, what is it called? The Historical Foundation for Scientific Revolution by Thomas Kuhn. K-U-H-N. I quote him a lot in Galileo was wrong. The Basis for Scientific Revolutions. I forget the exact title. Um, that'll open your eyes up, okay? That's why there's a scientific revolution every 100, 150 years or so, because they get so fed up with doing the same stupid mistakes that everybody says it's not worth it anymore. But that takes a lot of pressure, a lot of time, and we could be in one of those right now, okay? And let's hope so, you know? But I think God is letting out this, information about the earth being in the center and guys like me collating it all for everybody to read because it's scattered you know you have to pick it up here pick it up there and then you put it in the publication and everybody can see it um because the end is coming and god is just saying look you fools you thought you were the masters of the universe you don't even know what end is up and what end is down Okay, that's how much you know. And I'm I'm gonna show it to you. I'm gonna show it to you where you where you made all your mistakes, where you made all your assumptions, because you didn't want the God Almighty to put the earth in the center because everyone's gonna think that God exists and you know, and that means we're responsible for our sins and gosh, can't have that. Yeah, see I know how you're thinking. Maybe I'm the one who made you. So, uh, <laughs> men. Um,